हाय हम डॉक्टर प्रदीप गाड़गे हम डायरेक्टर डॉक्टर गाड़गे डायबिटीज केयर एंड रिसर्च सेंटर मुंबई नाउ व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोटीन व्हिच कैन बी यूजुअली कंज्यूम बाय अ ह्यूमन बीइंग द कॉमनेस्ट टाइप ऑफ प्रोटीन व्हिच वी यूजुअली कंज्यूम आर डिफरेंट एनिमल प्रोटीन्स एंड डिफरेंट प्लांट प्रोटीन्स नाउ प्लांट प्रोटीन्स कैन बी वेरियस लाइक पी प्रोटीन सोयाबीन प्रोटीन और एन नंबर ऑफ अदर प्रोटीन्स व्हिच कम्स फ्रॉम द प्लांट्स एनिमल प्रोटीन्स द वन व्हिच कम फ्रॉम पोल्ट्री द वन व्हिच कम फ्रॉम चिकन लैम etc and the one which come from basically milk so milk has two major types of proteins one is whey protein and the other is casein most of the nutritional supplements which are available in the market are made of soy protein now try to understand that soy protein has its own advantage of being cheap easily available but it is not as good as whey protein when it comes to digestibility bio availability so the best type of protein to be consumed would be whey protein or a combination of whey and casein now the advantage of whey is it's easily absorbed advantage of casein is it's slowly absorbed it remains in the stomach for long time so when you ideally combine something like whey and casein together it forms an ideal sort of combination the pdc double a score is more than 1 so there are a lot of advantages with this sort of protein unfortunately as we start aging we start losing muscle mass this happens more so in an accentuated form in diabetic patients it is estimated that almost every year a diabetic patient will lose somewhere around 1 to 1.5 kg of muscles and what exactly happens when you lose muscles those muscles usually get replaced by fat and that is why you start becoming all the more unhealthy as you age hence consumption of good amount of protein is extremely important consumption of good quality of protein is extremely important thank you